G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So guys, you guys have been hitting me up in the comments to check this one out. Look, I promise I was eventually going to get there today. I've still got to react to Dax's new track as well. I went out to my uh, Mighty Rabbitohs game, which uh, they lost uh, last night. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty buggered. I am tired. I haven't had much sleep, but... We're here, we're out here doing this, you know, we're out here grinding. Super excited for this guy, so let's get into this one. Mises, Burden, call it even. Let's go. Actually, got to turn the music up. Because if I don't turn the music up, I'm not going to be able to hear it well. Let's go. Said take the shot or you can't make dough. Yeah, man, I like this dude. You know how like I hate that the uh you know it's happening everywhere, all over the world. The governments are coming in, they're saying you've got to get that injection, or you can't there's jobs you can't do, you can't go to sporting events. Um, although last night they didn't care, so sweet. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff you can't do if you're not you don't have that jab. Which is a bit shit because it's really it's, it's segregation is what it is. But yeah, let's keep going. Put more, more told us two weeks where mess stay home. They say take a shot or we can't make dough. What you piece of man go? We'll play that joke. I know you can't slow. Let me say this slow. I took a stick that back sing in your fucking ass. Oh, I know that he's like I know you. I know you're slow. Yeah, well, no, 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 you're stupid. You're not very smart. So, look, I'll say that. I'll slow it down. I'll say it slow. You can shove that vaccine up your asshole. I like that. I like that a lot. Hey, we need to get back a bit. Don't want you to kiss a man, girl. We'll play that joke. I know you can't slow. Let me say this slow. You can stick that vaccine in your fucking asshole. We're the only one out here losing your patience. Put a million people out here losing their patience. Man, that's it. Big Pharma. Fuck Big Pharma. I fucking hate them. Can't, cannot stand them. A, wool, a supermarket in Australia called Woolworths I used to work for. They partnered with Big Pharma when all this shit started happening. And ironically now, so there's two, okay, let me, sorry, I'm going on a bit of a tangent here, but it all makes sense in the end. So basically Australia has two big supermarkets. We have Coles. And we have Woolies. I actually didn't mean that. That was ironic. Um, yeah, so we have Coles and we have Woolworths. Um, Woolworths have partnered with, with uh, Big Pharma. Coles have not. Woolworths require all employees, regardless of if you're new or if you've been there for 50 years, to get the vaccine, every single one. And if you don't, March 27th or something, you're gone. That's it. You're done. Coles. They're, all their employees do not have to get vaccinated. However, the government have apparently, oh, I should say allegedly, told Coles that they have to have any new staff member that's hired get the vaccine. However, because they're not partnered with Big Pharma, none of their employees at this current time, when they're, you know, if they've been there for 10 years, no, nah, they don't have to get the vaccine. But Woolworths, no, nah, complete opposite. So you know what? I'm glad I cut ties with that company because they were a cancer. And at the end of the day, they were. So, yeah, sorry I went on that tangent, guys. But, you know, I just, the, the world's falling apart at the moment. I think we can, we all can see it. Push the 
Balls like they play chess. If I'm thinking God, Lord knows what I'll say next. Zorber Cole says I ain't gotta say yes. So fuck what your mandate says. Bitch. Boy, try to give me that shot. You'll get shot. Call it even. Boy, try to give me that shot. You'll get shot. Call it even. Boy, try to give me that shot. You'll get shot. Call it even. Boy, try to give me that shot. Boy, try to give me that shot. Boy, try to give me that. Boy, try to give me that shot. You'll get shot. Call it even, boy, try to give me that shot. You'll get shot. Call it even, boy, try to give me that shot. You'll get shot. Call it even, boy, try to give me that shot. You'll get shot. Call it even. Here we go, man. Burden's coming. Ooh, I'm excited for this. You can get the shit if you wanna get it, you get it. Listen, ain't nobody putting that in my motherfucking body. We can go shot for shot. I go. See, that's where it becomes an issue. That is 100% where it becomes an issue. And I'm sorry for pausing a lot and, you know, talking a lot in this video, but, you know, I kind of want to just get my point across. Uh, so it's all well and good if you want to get the vaccine. If you want to get the vaccine, that's all well and good. It's, you know, it's fine. You get the vaccine, you do you. But if I don't want to put it in my body, then it becomes an issue, which is bullshit because we should all have a choice. Let's be real here. Where's our freedom going? at that fucking door because we, we don't have freedom anymore. It's gone. It seems that way. And yeah, I know before people come at me saying, you know, think about people in the Ukraine. Well, I do. And that sucks. Like for them, that is, that is atrocious. And yes, they are a lot worse off than us. And it, that, that's, that's unfortunate. It really is. But at the same time, while that is heartbreaking and people are dying and they don't deserve to die, we've got to look at our own country, all right? And, and I'm off on another tangent here, and I do, I do apologise. Queensland, we had pretty terrible floods, and up northern New South Wales. Terrible floods, terrible, terrible floods over here, right? So what did uh, old Scott Morrison do, the stupid dickhead that went to Hawaii when there were fucking bushfires all over Australia? He's gone, right, let's throw... All this money to Ukraine. You know what? Flood victims haven't seen any money yet. And I do understand and I get it that they come from separate money pools. We've got a money pool to help other countries, blah, blah, blah. But we should be using the other money pool first to make sure everybody that's been impacted by, whether it be floods or fires or anything, they get seen to first. Look after your own country before you look after somebody else's. That's like saying, basically, okay, look, I, you guys are going to, if you've clicked off already, I don't blame you, but let me have, let me get this, let, let me get this shit off my head, all right? <laughs> so that's basically like saying, you got your family. Your family are struggling to put food on the table, but there's another family homeless, Right? It sucks. Yeah, look, that sucks. It really does. But you're not in a position to help them because you need to help yourself first. And it's not selfish. You're looking, you're not looking, not just looking after you, you're looking after your kids. And eventually you're looking after their kids. Like it's, you know what I'm saying? It works in a line. It, it, it does. And once, you know, once you're back on your feet, it might be too late to help those homeless people, yeah, but it might not be, and you can help them. You know, there's so many people in the world that can help those homeless people, but don't. Don't feel selfish because you need to put yourself first. That's all I'm saying. Let's keep this going. They put in my motherfucking body. We can go shot for shot. I go first, but you better bring a hearse because I brought a 12 gauge shot. And y'all would never cheat. <laughs> we can get shot for shot, but I'll go first, and you better. You better bring a hearse because I bought a toy. Because I've, what is it? Oh man, I, I know my guns that well. Yeah, I go first, but you better bring a hearse because I brought a 12 gauge shotty. I bought a 12 gauge shotty, man. Love it. I go first, but you better bring a hearse because I brought a 12 gauge shotty. Y'all would never jab me. You ain't getting close. You don't need a motherfucking sniper rifle shooting vaccines. Lord, please forgive me because the shit I didn't get nasty. Either I'm gonna make a blast me. Or it's suicide, something that you apply for. If you really think that I'm gonna be the one that you force, I don't give a fuck about Donald Trump guy. Every single one I'm in the house that he loses support. Fuck Johnson and Johnson, Moderna and Pfizer. Fuck Voucher, you fraudulent communist liar. Needs to be fired, chief medical advisor. Why in the fuck would they give you that title? Give me that shot, 
you get shot. Call it even, boy, try give me that shot. You get shot. Call it even, boy, try give me that shot. You get shot. Call it even, boy, try give me that shot. Boy, try give me that shot. Boy, try give me that. Boy, try give me that shot. This is good. This is dope, man. I love this. I love this hook, man. This is sick. Call it even, boy, try give me that shot. You get shot. Call it even, boy, try give me that shot. You get shot. Call it even, boy, try give me that shot. You get shot. Call it even. All right, so we have a new album coming in. Drops 25th of the 3rd. I will be away. On my on my uh, mine and my wife's first wedding anniversary. So if there's a new song that drops that weekend, guys. I'm sorry if I don't react to it. All right, I'll react to everything when I get back. But uh, yes, this was a ba- this was a banger of a song, man. Shout out to Misa, shout out to Burden. Call it even was a banger. I love it, love it, guys. I'm sorry I went on a few little tangents there, but I hope you guys can agree and let me know what you guys think in the comments. Did you agree? Did you disagree? Did you enjoy this reaction? Let me know, guys. But hit that sub button. Hit that like button. Show me some support. Thank you all so much, guys. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.